Hello and welcome back to another video. In this video I'm going to show you guys a bit about the player hub slash farm slash top down map. I, I'm not sure what's, what it's going to be called. Alright, so this is pretty much the player's hub. From here you're going to access pretty much all the features uh, in the game. So this is, will be your home screen more or less. So from here you can do all sorts of actions including like building and upgrading these buildings that you can see here. So one important feature of this hub is to build and upgrade buildings and this will actually shape the experience somewhat because you can choose which buildings to upgrade and build and so on. So for example, if you're into like training and you want to own many horses, you might want to build riding halls and expand those so you can get like many horses training at the same time. So there will be some choices like that that you will have to make actually. Okay, so let's just go through the buildings real quick. Up here we have the stable. And the stable is obviously the home to your horses. And from the stable you can look at your horses, you can go to them, you can just do anything related to your horses from here. Uh, and you can get this nice overview. You can also like swipe so you can see all the empty stalls. I just have one little Welsh cob, he's so lonely. So then we have the building up here to the left. This is the farm. And the farm produces hay. And as we all know, horses eat hay, so that's good. Um, so this uh, icon is hay, and you can see I have 50 out of 50 hay. Hay is something that the horses will eat automatically, always. Uh, they always have like access to their hay. So you have to make sure that you don't like you don't have too many horses for the size of your farm. So if you maybe buy like four horses you might want to upgrade your farm otherwise maybe your hay production will not keep up with the horses and the horses will then suffer some um, some bad stuff from it uh, so you, you will always want to upgrade your farm in like the same pace roughly that you buy new horses uh, so that's important to have in mind but you will know you have the little hay icon up here so you can keep track of of the hay here to the left you have walter's sheep uh, they're very loud but they're very very cute. I can't really get a closer look, but they're awesome. So here in the middle is the office. The office gives me some money each day, which is good, so I can buy stuff. And the office, uh, I can go into it and just show it. It's a work in progress. We don't really have anything in here at the moment. Um, but you will be able to do a lot of stuff from here as well, including um, your character, like changing clothes and all that stuff. So that's all the buildings I have. So if we want to get some more, we have to build. We can build a riding hall. The riding hall enables training. So without it, you can't train your horses. So from here, you can train your horse. I will show that in another video, but it's kind of important. If you want to improve your horse's overall stats, you need to train it. And that you do via the riding hall. And if you upgrade this riding hall, you will get more training slots. At the current moment, I have two. So if I have more horses, I might want to upgrade my riding hall as well. The final building that we have today is the trailer. And the trailer enables the uh, horse market. So if I go in here, I get to the horse trader and I can buy me some new horses. But I'm very poor at the moment, so I can't afford any of those. So the final little thing here is this trail ride gate. So if you want to go on the trail ride, you can do it from here, uh, but you can also do it from the stable. So this is the status of this uh, hub. Actually, a while back, or some time back, we we weren't sure that we would have it like this, like a 3D view like this. I mean, if you think about it, it could just as easily be just a simple 2D menu with like uh, buttons. And that was how we had it for quite a time, actually. Um, it's just a more like abstract version of this. But then we got some feedback and we talked to some, some people working with us and just we just felt like it would be nice to have to have this more of a hub that's kind of cozy and you can just maybe some spend time here and just 
you land here when you get into the game and you can just watch over your farm, just take it easy and you can just chill here for a moment. And it's much, much cozier than just uh, a menu with buttons. Uh, but it could have been just as well, of course. But I'm really happy with, uh, with the decision to make it into a, an actual 3D map. I think it's, it's very cozy and nice. So when we decided to go for a 3D map instead of just a menu, we started thinking about the art style that we wanted. So our, like, the whole game that we had then had this kind of stylized realism look, as you know. Um, but we felt like that same, the exact same look wouldn't, probably wouldn't be very, very good for this particular view because it would probably be too detailed because um, the, the houses here are, are very small, um, details would probably get lost since everything is so small and you're so high up, uh, since this is like a, a map. Um, so we, we decided to go in a slightly different direction than the rest of the game. Uh, we wanted a more stylized look and just get rid of even more details than in the rest of the game. Just have it more cl clean and, uh, and stylized, uh, sort of. So we iterated a lot on it and just until we felt like we sort of found the right balance between stylization and realism. Um, obviously many of these top-down type of game have very stylized um, graphics and you have these like um, exaggerated proportions even on the houses but we didn't want that because I, we felt like that would be too far off from the whole like feeling of the question. Uh, so we were like well let's try and find something in between and, and this, is, this is basically it. So it's quite different, like, art-wise from the rest of the game. And we wanted it to really be different enough that you would notice that it's not, like, almost the same. That it really is different. And it's just, like, a more abstract version of the game world than what you will see, for example, if you go on a trail ride. So this is what we have for the hub so far. Uh, we're obviously not done yet. We have still a lot of work to do. So future steps for us to take is to just add more buildings so you can do more in terms of this farm management. Uh, and I hope you're looking forward to that. Uh, I just wanted to show it, show it to you now and talk a bit about it so, so you could just get a first look. Um, so that's it for this video. Uh, please let me know in the comments what you think about the hub. Um, do you like it? Do you don't like it? Do you, what do you think of the art style? What do you think of the buildings? The mechanics, just everything. It's always super exciting to just hear your, your uh, opinions and stuff. So I'm, uh, I'm gonna read all your comments <laughs> and see what you say. Alright, so that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to Equestrian if you wanna just stay tuned for more updates. And we'll see you guys soon.